two ears of corn. I just want to have that nice smoky flavor in my corn and black bean salad. It makes it look a lot more festive too. And it's such a pretty day outside. I wonder how those guys are doing. It's a beauty. Yeah. Should we go surf now? Let's sit down. She said an hour. Let's sit down. <laughs> yeah, we'll go surf. Oh, I just did here. Yeah. So I'm just cutting the corn kernels right off the cob. The corn's got a nice smoky flavor to it. It just adds a little pizzazz to the whole salad. Makes it special. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this. You can see the corn kernels are nice and juicy. Now, I'm gonna add a little red pepper. Some crunch, some sweetness, and great color. That's what I love about red pepper, the color and the sweetness. And of course, some freshness from that crunch. So, get rid of that. And you just wanna dice it. Now, traditionally, in lobster bakes, they'll just serve corn on the cob, but I'm jazzing it up just a little bit, making it extra special and giving it a little bit of a California feel. Okay, so red pepper is in, and now, for a little bit of an island feel and some sweetness, I'm gonna add some mango. So, go ahead and cut the mango. Now remember, there's a big seed in the center of the mango, so you can't just cut it down the center. You gotta cut the sides off, kinda like you would with an apple. So I just cut all the sides off, and it's just easier to do it this way than to have to peel the whole thing. I take one slice and I just cut down. Now don't cut all the way through the skin. Just kinda cut until you almost hit the skin. And it takes a little practice, but if you do it a couple times, you'll kind of get the feel for it of how deep the knife goes in. And then you just open it up just like that. So then I take a spoon and I just kind of take them all off, just like that. And you want to make sure that the mango isn't too ripe, just, you know, nice and tender. So get all that off. it right in there just like that perfect so now some beans and I have one can of garbanzo beans and one can of black beans and I've already drained and rinsed them and they just add nice creaminess to the salad which will be really good it just gives it more body and gives it more heartiness we'll add a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper just like that and then Add the basil lime vinaigrette that we made earlier. A little cumin, fresh basil, balsamic. It's perfect right in there. Now what I do is leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours just so the basil vinaigrette has a chance to kind of mix in with the corn and the corn and the beans, the mango, the red pepper, everything kind of absorbs that basil lime vinaigrette and it becomes better and better. The longer it sits, the better it gets. So now I've got three sticks of butter. I'm gonna grab a pan, and I'm gonna melt these three sticks of butter. You can't have a lobster bake without having some clarified butter to dip the lobster tails in. So I'm gonna melt three sticks of butter, about one and a half cups of butter, and we're gonna do that over low heat. And I'm also gonna add some lemon to it too. Make it really, really yummy. Turn the stove on. And it'll take a couple of minutes to melt. And then I'm gonna show you how to take a traditional lobster bake and give it a sort of a West Coast jada feel to it. And the star, of course, my succulent lobster tails prepared for travel and less mess.